Meghalaya Legislative Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma has informed that the budget session will be held from the 20th of March to the 28th of March. Speaking to press persons after chairing the meeting of the Business Advisory Committee, the Speaker informed that there will be five government business days and two private members' business days. He also informed that the election of the Deputy Speaker will be held on the first day of the budget session. He also responded to questions regarding the post of the Leader of Opposition. With the members, so we all of us attended in this meeting and we decided to have a full budget season starting from 28th March till 28th of the same month, March, 28th March 2023. Um, and we did uh, also we decided that since it is a budget, I mean, year financial year ending month. So uh, our officials and the government also needs to clear all the pending financial issues. So we decided to end the budget session on 28 itself. So 29, 28th and 31st will be uh, available for the officers and the secretariat and all the district officials to clear the financial Deals. Will ADs uh, be enough sir, for the budget session? Uh, actually, we have cut down some of the uh, like pri private members' bills, which we intend to have it uh, give them enough time to, on the next session, maybe autumn session. Uh, this time, we only allocated two days for private members' bills. Otherwise, I think it should be okay. Uh, so can we expect the election of the deputy speaker also to be held uh, during yes, the session? Yes, it will be held on the first day itself, on 28th. So we are giving out notifications from tomorrow uh, so that intending candidates can file their nominations and we'll have the election on the first day of the budget session. Total how many government uh, members, uh, government uh, days are there? For government days. Um, it's a seven days. It, it is a five days. I think. Five days, government business. But usually we have seen that the budget session continues for at least fifteen days. So uh, we we'll try to make up. Uh, it is in the discussion of the speaker, so I may extend the time. I have sat in the parliament where the parliament discussion went till midnight, twelve, twelve a.m at midnight. So I don't think we can also have, I mean, if not till midnight, at least late till evening, five, six o'clock, we can, have, if necessary, if required. So we have in the opposition three political parties. So will you recognize, uh, you know, the leader of opposition? Uh, how will you deal with the situation? Yes, I am, uh, this office is examining the matter. I have received uh, applications from the Congress and uh, AITC, but uh, the third VPP, uh, VPP has not submitted any uh, kind of indication to be part of the opposition or stay here, no stay there. So I've only received a request from only both the parties, two uh, parties. And uh, their request is to recognize them as a forum or? or no, can... not as a forum, it's a separate they are both separate entities. The government to the Deputy Speaker, will you be giving opportunity for the opposition to... I'm sorry? Uh, will you be giving opportunity for the opposition to have the Deputy Speaker? It's up to them. If they file their nominations, everyone is welcome. If you don't file them, then get... Uh, of course. Like me, I, I think the Deputy Speaker will also be uh, elected unopposed.